Shalom Arastafari and a Melkam Fasika to you all. Fasika, the Hebrew, high Hebrew holy day, the high Hebrew holy day of Pesach, known as Fasika in Amharic, begins this evening, begins on the 14th, the eve of the 14th of the month of Nisan, and very interestingly enough, this year, this Fasika, this Passover, also begins on the 14th day of the month of April. So that's a, that's a kind of an interesting correspondence there, almost like as it was in the beginning, so shall it be in these end times. So what we want to address in this series, I want to call this series Acts Rastafari, Acts Rastafari, or a little more specifically, Acts Rastafari Rabbi, or Acts Ras. Rab, Rabbi, Ras, speaking of I. Now, first of all, before one starts to point out the scripture and says, the Moshiach says that you're not to be called rabbis or many of you all to be called rabbis, but one is your rabbi. We know that one who is our rabbi. But the term Memher means one who is learned in something. In other words, we should not call ourselves learned in that which we might not be learned in. So that which I'm not learned in, I would say, I don't know, I got to look it up, I'll find out, I'll head rest, I'll pray on it, I'll search it out, seek it out, get forward to you. If someone else finds the answer, I'll seek to do my part in pointing out he or she who has found that particular answer, all right? All right, so this message right here is to prepare for Passover, but a couple of crucial ideas we need to comprehend and understand right in this season and what the reason for this season really is and why Passover is the Exodus key. Passover is the Exodus key for we as Rastafari. So I have a couple of topical subject matters I would like to do a couple of maybe minute videos and just address some of them might seem a little not controversial, but I don't know. It depends on beauties in the eye of the beholder. I will. So this message is to remind ones and ones, the brothers and sisters, a couple of the brothers and sisters who I've been in communication with, speaking with, or more correctly, um, texting. Um, I've been trying to remind everyone that I can, um, a little bit, a little bit exhausted, right? But, but it's all well worth it, my brothers and sisters, because here we are now is the time. And this season with the blood moons is also significant. The, the blood moons is very significant and we should not overly burden or stress ourselves to try to keep the fast over in the outer sense, but it's the key of keeping it in the inner sense and in the inner man. And I'm going to address uh, or seek to address that particular point by touching on a couple of um, subject matters, right? And how in the Hadith Kidan, in the New Covenant, these matters are addressed that deal with a sense of religiosity, ritual, vis-a-vis -vis spirituality, and coming from our own true roots as the children of the lion of the tribe of Judah. This is one reason why I'm saying that to say Rasta is to say Jewish. People say, whoa, that sounds very controversial there. What do you mean? Rasta is Rasta and Jewish is Jewish. Even some of our own people will maybe reproach I intellectually and say, how can you say that? The word Jew, you even said it and pointed out, does not occur in the book of Exodus. So how could Exodus be about the deliverance of the Jews 
from Egypt. Well, in truth, it's really not. It's about the deliverance of the Hebrews. We are the Hebrews, my brothers and sisters. Whether we say black Hebrew or we add Israelite to it, or we say Ethiopian Hebrew, or as our own ancestors who we can say consolidated this movement of Jah's people, Rabbi Wentworth Arthur Matthews so accurately stated, we are African Hebrews. So Passover for we is the key, right? It's the key. In fact, one brother in, um, brother Wendem Yifti, in a communication with him about certain projects that we are endeavoring on, he mentioned that the 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 necessary thing is coordination, coordination. That's 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 a that's a mindful, right? And we have to be mindful of what coordination really means. And I pointed out in a, a response, a reply to him, that coordination equals our seder, right? Equals the seder, right? And the seder equals the order, right? And the order for Passover, right, is the Haggadah, right? The Haggadah. So to the brothers and sisters, especially those who have youths and children, it's really to sit down and, and take a read of it. Now, many of us probably feel like, wow, Passover is already here, even though about two weeks or so, Prior, we were able to upload and 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 put available for download at Rastafari Groundation this particular Haggadah, which is the narrative or which is the reader or the reading, because it's important for our remembrance, right? To remember, to think on, and therefore to put ourselves in that receptive consciousness for this season, right? Now, I want to touch on why the seasons are important and not to get too mystical, but we can be now scientifical because science have finally caught up with what the ancients, a little bit of what the ancients already knew. Certain seasons like this particular Passover season with the four blood moons and that eclipse, there's a doubling, there's a duality, there's a doubling. And as I begin to look at it, I said, it seems as though the first two, right, Passover, the Feast of Tabernacles, which is the beginning and the end of our high Hebrew year, the beginning and the end of our high Hebrew calendar. It repeats itself, these blood moons coming up in 2015. But between these two blood moons is a solar eclipse. So now is a key time and an opportunity if we would get our heads and our hearts, if we would make our heads and our hearts receptive to the word of the covenant, the word of the prophecy, and pay attention to these particular signs of the time. So, brothers and sisters, this is going to be a, a, a brief intro right here. There's a couple of other subject matters that I want to touch on right here. Let's see, this one will be on Rastafari Jews and our Black Passover. I like that one. You like that one? Well, so be it. Rastafari Jews. People say, well, you say Jews is not there. Well, yeah, but it gets your attention, right? You say Rastafari Jews. Well, we have more of a right to call ourselves Jews by evidence of the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. So we are representing a an ethnic group of black people, right? Remember, there were 12 tribes, because some would say, well, 
the Ethiopians are Jews, but not you, black people in America. Y'all not Jews. How can y'all be Jews or Israelites? There were 12 tribes, were there not? And John says those 12 tribes are 12 nations and 12 manners of people. So you better behave. We are one of the manners of people and one of the mansions in my father's house. There are many mansions. If it was not so, he would not have told us. If it was not so, I would not have told you that he told us so. So with that, once again, a Melcom Fasi Cup. Right? A Melcom Fasi Cup. A beautifully good Passover. Right, some right here, some Itan. And stay tuned, brothers and sisters. We want to go through. This is a rehearsal. This is a rehearsal. Right? This is a rehearsal. Learn Jai's script and play your role, brothers and sisters. Shalom Ras Teferi.